On January 8, 2026, Chris Kastner, Chief Executive Officer of Huntington Ingalls Industries, said the construction work on the first FFX multi-mission frigate is expected to begin in the near term and remains aligned with U.S. Navy schedule objectives. Kastner also stated that the first FFX is expected to reach an initial trial run in 2028, allowing the U.S. Navy to field a new class of frigate more quickly than the canceled Constellation class program permitted. The FFX, derived from the Coast Guard's Legend-class national security cutter, will be the first conventional guided missile frigate class to serve in the U.S. Navy since the last Oliver Hazard Perry-class frigate was decommissioned in 2015. For its initial configuration, the FFX's weapons and sensors are deliberately limited to avoid cascading design changes during construction and early trials. Flight 1 ships are expected to be armed with a BAE Systems 57mm main gun, two 30mm guns, a RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles for point defense, and up to 16 RGM-184A naval strike missiles for anti-surface warfare. The first ships will not be fitted with an integrated vertical launch system, will also lack anti-submarine warfare equipment, and favor a more rapid production schedule and control over comprehensive capability at entry into service. Flight 2 FFX frigate will be armed with an integrated vertical launch system and anti-submarine warfare equipment. The FFX program emerged after the U.S. Navy canceled most of the Constellation-class frigate program, which had been derived from the Franco-Italian design and suffered from extensive modifications to meet U.S. survivability standards. The Navy has identified a requirement for 73 small surface combatants, making the timely delivery of a scalable frigate class a central force structure issue. Visit www.globaldefensecorp.com. Follow us on YouTube, X, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn.